In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you ever feeling down and like you have nowhere to go, if you feel it like an outcast as your problems overflow, just remember there is someone. Our good night message on this Monday, the 3rd of May, the Feast of Philip and James, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the Gospel passage of today, entitled, Our Prayers Are Answered. Today we celebrated the feast of Philip and James, the apostles, and we took a special passage that is within the context of Easter from John chapter 14 verse 6 to 14. And towards the end of the passage, as Jesus explained to them who he was, because Thomas had asked, Lord, show us the way. He told them he was going and that they knew the way. No, Thomas was a scientific man. He wanted clear-cut explanations to something. So he said, show us the way. And Jesus, where we began from, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It did not end there. Jesus began talking about his dad. And Philip, wanting to go deeper, said, show us the Father and we shall be satisfied. Since he spoke about his dad, Philip was very much interested to know who his dad was because if this man could be this powerful, what about his father? Show us that, Father. Your dad must be a powerful man. No, you don't need to know my dad. I am the image of the invisible God, the firstborn from all creation, says St. Paul. To have seen me is to have seen my dad. And to that end, he told them, Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, because there is no distinction between me and my dad. Asking my dad in my name, I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. This is what gives us confidence when we are praying. When we say we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, we say it with confidence and trust because we know it will be answered. It may not be answered in the way we expect answers to come, but we know our prayer is not wasted. Anytime you dedicate yourself to prayer, know that something is happening in the heavenly realm. God is doing something. We often get discouraged when our prayers are not answered in our own timing. And we wonder, does it actually work? Does God actually answer prayer? The quick answer is yes. Why? Because God answers in a way different from ours. God has his own timings. God sees far ahead of us. If he gives you that which you are looking for now, he gets worried that you may miss your way or you may not be in his path. Dave Willis says, if God answered all of our prayers, would the world look different or just your life? 
Again, Andrew Murray says, Answered prayer is the interchange of love between the father and his child, where as a child you feel you are having a love relationship with your dad. Just the fact of talking to him is enough. You know, when I reach 3 p.m. of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, if I don't get down on my knees to pray, I feel something is missing. I have not connected myself to the love of my life. I have not connected myself to the God of my life. And you feel certain emptiness within. Because I know I may not be getting anything that I am looking for in that prayer, but I get something much bigger relationship with my God and that's the most important and as you feel that closeness with your God as you feel God being part of you and your life it is a sense of fulfillment within he is assuring us of the fact that no prayer no moment of bending your knees is wasted God in his own time opens the door when we knock God in his own time makes us find what we are looking for when we search God in his own time gives us what we need not what we want but what we need when we ask he's such a loving and gentle God who again says this in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 11 ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and it will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will be opened he goes further to explaining how that works by relating it to our human experiences or what man is there among you who if his son asks for bread will give him a stone definitely we don't do that as human beings so he says if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him you know, sometimes when we complain that God is not answering our prayers, we are reducing him to a human being. No, even worse than a human being, because I may ask for something from somebody. A person will give an answer. It may be a no, at least. But there will be an answer from that person I'm asking for something. Now, God's answer to our needs may be no, when he knows there are not needs but wants. His answer will be yes when he knows this is befitting at this moment for you to have it. And we have to accept his will in our lives. That's why the Our Father is a perfect prayer for all of us. We always say, your will be done, not my will. When we conclude our prayer, you say, Lord, yes, this is what I'm asking for. This is what I'm requesting for, but not what I wish, but what you will. I want your will to be done in my life and not my will. And when we have that perfect abandonment to his will, we'll see things flowing. And we will look forward to every moment of prayer because we know God is not a human being. To fail to provide for us he brought us on this earth for a purpose and when I link myself to his divine will I just see things flowing in my life because it takes care of every one of our needs whatever you ask in my name this I will do that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask me for anything in my name I will do it it is his promise and God never lies 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Is my God answers prayer? You may be broken and feel bad, but your strength will surely come in the midst of all your heartaches, your battles. He's